Hello, sorry about the uh, camera configuration. I got to use my computer as a camera. So <laughs> anyhow, I'm sort of sitting behind the amp. Uh, this is a, I believe, 1963 or 1964 Epiphone Zephyr with two 6V6 uh, power tubes, uh, tube rectifier, uh, 15 watts of power, and a, the original 15 watt Jensen speaker. Um, it's a fantastic sound and amp. I'm in a financially a bad way. My wife wants to do some work to the bathroom and we need uh, to get some cash together to do that with. So I'm selling off a couple of my uh, lesser used amplifiers. And like I say, I hate to part with this one because it is a beautiful sounding amp, but uh, got to do what you got to do. Got to keep the wife happy. So anyhow, uh, features reverb, tremolo, uh, two channels, uh, which you can jump, very similar to what you would do with like a Marshall JMP or a JTM 35 or JTM 35. Eh. Anyhow, uh, enough talking. Let me give you a little idea how what it sounds like. Uh, right now, I'm going into channel two, which is the uh, channel which has reverb and uh, and tremolo on it. So I'm gonna give you a little taste of what the reverb and tremolo sound like. I'm gonna Crank the volume down just a little bit, so uh, a little bit easier to hear them clearer. Hold on a second. But, uh... Definitely has some reverb going on it. Um, I am using a PRS CE24 uh, guitar. Um, recording this uh, just with the Sennheiser microphone. Uh, no effects, I got one effects pedal online. I'm gonna put a, a, a distortion pedal on a little bit later, but uh, no effects other than the amp itself. And uh, I'll let you know when I hit the Timmy on, so. Um, that's what I was going to say. I start demonstrating with the reverb and the tremolo, sort of give you an idea of what those sound like. Uh, I've got the uh, guitar on the bridge position in uh, humbucker mode. This sang cool taps. That's why I wanted to use it for this demo because I can slip out of a single coil into humbucker without having to change a guitar. So give her a little play in time. Right now I got the... Uh, Reverb probably about 65%. Let's turn it down to about half tilts. Let it go from there. That's usually when I play with it when I'm live, unless we're doing surf. Go into single coil and take it up to the uh, neck pickup.
I just kicked in, uh, I'd say, uh, Tim. Try and show that for the camera. Nice sort of uh, transparent distortion pedal kind of, or overdrive kind of. I'm gonna take it back out now. We'll switch her over into the uh, into the uh, turn the turn the uh, reverb off and try the uh, tremolo. That is clean uh, at about 50% volume, uh, no tremolo, no effects. Uh, I'm on a, not in humbucker, in single coil mode on the neck pickup. Switch it down to the bridge pickup. Flip on the tremolo. the uh, reverb back in with the tremolo, sort of get a little bit of a fill for both of them. It's not the loudest and bestest tremolo, but uh, you can hear it. Yeah. Flip the Tim on, sort of give it a little bit of juice behind it. Kick out the tremolo and uh, push the volume up a little bit. For a 15 watt amp, this bad boy gets loud. This took it uh, off a uh, off a single coil mode. You got a little bit of a 60 cycle going in the back there, but. Okay, that's uh, took the Tim out too, so.
Uh, it's a little bit better with the uh, 60 cycle. We'll flip it back into single coil. <laughs> A really good sound in amp, man. You turn the volume all the way up, it gets uh, pretty loud for 15 watts, man. I can definitely keep up with the drummer. Uh, if I jump her the channels, I can get over top of a drummer with it. It's, uh, it gets a uh, 15-inch speaker, pushes some air. Um, and, uh, you know, it sounds really nice turned all the way up. It's good. You That's volume two all the way up. Engage the reverb. Engage the tremolo and the reverb. the light gauge strings off the neck <laughs> and take those both back out I'm gonna kick her over into channel one it gets a little bit louder it doesn't it's not pushing the uh, the reverb and the tremolo circuit this is a clean channel so, or clean channel in the sense there's no effects being run on it so it does push a little bit more volume it does break up a little bit better hold on let me take her up there Getting a little bit of feedback from it, but this is a single cool. Uh, I just pushed it, pushed it up to the uh, to the bridge pickup and sort of. And that's what the amplifier dime. I'm going to roll back the volume on the guitars a little bit. Just cleans up perfectly. One thing I like about this a lot too is you don't lose the bottom end when you roll off on this amp the way you do on uh, 10 and 12 inch speaker amps. It really, the, the bass just hangs in there even though you've backed it off. Sometimes you'll lose, it just sounds real chimey and like you've lost all the bottom and mid frequencies when you roll the volume off. But this one, up nice and uh, still still can hear the bottom end Go back into humbucker mode, play it on the bridge, and I'll switch it up to the neck pickup.
sounds uh, sounds pretty good. I don't know, man. I like it. <laughs> Take it up to the uh, neck pickup. So I'm gonna kick the Tim back in and give it a little bit more, a little bit more distortion on top of it, the breakup from the natural tubes. But here. the distortion pedal back at it. And and with just a twist of the knob you're back to Last thing I'm going to do here is uh, is uh, get a second cable out, and uh, like I said with the old Marshalls, you've got you've got two inputs for each channel, and you can do what's called jumpering them. If you're not familiar with this, what I'm going to do is run a cord from the input second input on channel one, and then run it into channel two, and it'll effectively take the signal and push both uh, both. Uh, uh, both channels at the same time, and then you can adjust the volume on both, sort of bumping up and down the uh, the levels if you want. This thing does get ugly loud on this. I mean, you can uh, uh, high watt, 100 watt super lead, or they ain't that kind of area, but it, it gets pretty stinking loud. It'll it'll hurt you. Let's put the earplugs in here. So hold on a second. Grab an extra cable here. All right, now, so I've got both, uh, both channels effectively engaged. I just rolled out channel two. Roll back in. Rolling channel one out, and I'll push it back in.
Sounds pretty good, man. I mean, it's, uh, like I said, it's it's a little bit louder with both of them going. It uh, it definitely uh, has more more gain, more breakup. It's definitely driving the tubes a little bit harder. Um, you know, I really do love this amp, and I hate to part with it. It's uh, you know, <laughs> kind of a rare find on the Internet for me, especially with the 15 inches. You see the Zephyrs typically uh, a lot more common to see them with two 10-inch speakers. Uh, the 15, it, it works, and the, the beauty of this is it works really well for the guitar, but it's also a really good amplifier if you want an electric piano or an organ into it. Man, a 15-inch speaker really, it really fills out the bottom good. So, uh, you know, especially if you're in a band where you're the only guitar player or something where you really need to bring some sound, this amp does it. So. <laughs> I'll take both channels, I'll turn it all the way up and I'll throw the Tim on top of it just to see how far we can push it. both channels turned plugged in and turned all the way up just roll the gain down about 25% Jumpered, I've got a jumper now, uh, both channels going, and I'm gonna roll back. I've rolled back both the volumes to about 80%. <laughs> to run it right about there you get a nice solid clean not a lot of break up on it but when you kick the kick the distortion pedal on and I've, I've not got the distortion pedal turned up very much it's just enough to push the amp a little bit so here but. It's so subtle unless somebody sort of sees you kick the pedal, man. You really don't, you know, feel the, feel the, uh, 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 you know, the sudden shift, man. It just all of a sudden gets a little louder, a little brighter, and. Uh <laughs> I 
really mm-hmm. nice for doing leads. You know, if you need to jump on a lead, you, you've got a, a good sustained volume level, and then just enough tweak to put you over top the over top the uh, uh, the rest of the band, and uh, it'll get you there. So. Anyhow, uh, if you got any questions, please feel free to call. Uh, like I say, this is a, one of my favorite amps, but I got I to gotta get rid of one or two of them. And I'm going with this one over the Pathfinder, which I love too, man. Both great amplifiers. Love early's, uh, early 60s, late 50s Gibson and uh, Epiphone uh, amplifiers, man. I, they don't get the credit they deserve. I know fend- everybody loves the Fenders, man. And, well-deserved quality amps, but these uh, these Epiphones and the Gibsons are some of the magnif- Magnetones, some of the other amplifiers made in that era. They don't have the Fender name on them, but boy, they sound pretty stinking good. So, um, like I say, give me give me a, a, any questions. Give me a shout. Um, I travel a lot for work, so I'm in and out of town during the week, but uh, generally around on weekends. So. You know, if you'd like to hear uh, any other pedals run through the amplifier or something I can do for you, please let me know. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Talk to you later.